Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Sorry I haven't posted in a while. It's like all you guys know, it's been a kind of a crazy year for everybody. Uh, especially, you know, for 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 some people. Um, you know, I've been dealing with uh, quite a few things, but you know, luckily everything has turned out okay. I do have some good news. I did get a contracting job as a tech support job. Uh, but this is a great role for me because as I mentioned in one of my other videos, uh, I'm kind of like, I'm not moving away from coding guys, but, uh, I, I decided to pursue and I'll talk about this in my next video. I decided to pursue more of, the. Uh, I'm trying to move more towards the ethical hacker side. You know what I mean? Um. And that's why I feel like this job is going to be, uh, this entry level job is going to be great for me. Uh, it's for a tax company. I'm not going to mention any names just because I don't want to get in trouble with them. Um, but yeah, it is a contracting job. It's supposedly till April, but with everything going on, it might get extended. It might end early. I don't know. Um, especially since everything's getting shut down again. It, it's, it's really the toss of the coin. But it is something that I can put up a resume that I, you know what, I did tech support for this company. It involved networking, it involved, you know, all this sort of stuff. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited about that. Uh, I'm also gonna start making videos of be steady for my Network Plus, which I'm getting into that already. I already got the book and everything. So it's just, you know, kind of just getting started i already got started but you know it's just been a lazy couple of months guys because you know it's just been hectic it's been really hectic um not really gonna get into that maybe in another video but uh yeah guys i just want to make this short video you know hey i got a entry uh level position as a tech support um i am studying it for my network plus and though i am not moving away from coding fully you guys got to understand that even though i'm moving towards ethical hacking there's still a lot of quite a bit of coding involved with that especially like in python um there's some javascript in there you know some html some css uh there's a little bit of everything in ethical hacking uh there's also you know a lot of it to do with databases obviously as you guys might know but I enjoy, uh, you know, Linux command scripting a lot. And I just see myself, I, I see myself keep going back to that. You know, like, I just, like, I, I code and then I just fall back into, like, oh, I want to try Linux again. And I keep going back to the Linux thing. And, and, and a short story of why I enjoy ethical hacking a lot. Back when Bluetooth, uh, uh, the like Bluetooth headset started and you know being able to transfer pictures and files through Bluetooth back when that started back in the early 2000s um, I, I I was hacking people's phones through Bluetooth uh, it obviously Bluetooth back then wasn't fairly secure so it wasn't that difficult but it was possible through social engineering but what I, what I mean is that, like, somebody would be like, hey, can you send me a picture through Bluetooth? And I'll be like, yes, yeah, okay. But what they didn't know is that once, you know, they accepted my request to send that file or picture, I had access to their whole phone. Now, don't ask me how I managed to do it, because I don't even know. The whole point was that once they accepted that request, I was able to go through all their whole phones there, their pictures, their uh, SMS, their contacts, all that sort of stuff. I literally had like a mirror image of their phone. Now this is back to when, you know, um, smartphones weren't really around. You know, you had like uh, Blackberry and all that sort of stuff. Uh, so, you know, smartphones weren't really a thing yet. So yeah. And then after that, I, you know, I started learning about key loggers. I would, you know, 
tell people, hey, let me, you know, try this on your laptop and to see if it works. And yeah, they would work. I would also, you know, like try it on their phones. You know, I would write like a small thing of code for a keylogger, a small line of code for a keylogger, and it would work. And obviously, all, everything I did was with the people's consent. Uh, yes, I would have people come up to me like, hey, can you hack my friend's uh, MySpace? <laughs> this is when MySpace was around, mind you. Um, or, hey, can you, when Facebook started, hey, can you get into my ex's Facebook? And no, obviously, I wasn't going to do all that. But yes, I, I learned about key loggers. I learned about, you know, hacking people through Bluetooth. Um, and all that sort of stuff. And that's why I feel like I just keep going back to the ethical hacking thing. Because that's something that I really enjoyed. And 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 you still have to write code and, and some of the stuff that you do. You know, unless you're going to be a script kitty, um, you still have to write some sort of code. Or, you know, if you're going to write an SQL injection and all that stuff, code still has to be written. So I've not like completely moved away from the whole coding thing. I'm just simply taking it to a different direction that I think I'm gonna I'm personally gonna enjoy more and something that I'm gonna just follow through with um, because again like I said guys you know software pro, uh, engineering uh, software developer really isn't for for everybody if you can literally sit in a cubicle for eight ten hours, and I know that you know software developers all oh, they they don't code all day you know, I've met a quite a bit of them. I'm friends with a quite a bit of them. Unless you're like a freelancer and stuff like that, you don't code 10, 12 hours a day straight. You have meetings and uh, all that stuff. You know, at most you do a good four, four hours of coding every day. But still, you know. Um, and another thing is that, you know, you have to really have your mindset up for algorithms. And, and and that's also, uh, definitely not for everybody. I've, I've had many problems. I've started to understand them more and more as the time goes by. But they are algorithms are extremely difficult to do. Um, but yeah, guys. I mean, this is uh, pretty much telling you guys like you know I did get an entry level job. I'm pretty excited about it. Um, I am pursuing the network plus and then from there more than likely I will go with the security plus um, I'm also going to be um, trying to move to, to using full on Linux I, I will stop using Windows as much as I can and just moving to full on Linux no I'm not going to install Linux on my computer uh, I better run it off a of USB th thumb drive um because you can obviously do that. So I'm gonna get, uh, you know, a 64 gig, 32 gig thumb drive. And because that's more than enough to, to for, for Linux guys. It's just run it off by, by my daily laptop and pretty much just use that as by, by, by daily driver PC for, for as much as I can just to, you know, get more used to, to Linux commands and all that sort of stuff. Sorry about the view guys, I mean, I'm driving. <laughs> And I know I shouldn't be do that, driving and making a video at the same time. But I was just really excited about this, about this new new way I'm trying to take my career. Um, and, you know, it's just exciting to me because I feel like I finally, like, just found something I'm really going to enjoy doing. Don't get me wrong, I enjoyed coding, but this is just like, wow, you know, ethical hacking, hacking. Uh, Linux, you know, you see the movies and you're like, ah, uh, but yeah, guys, so uh, I'm, I will be trying to move to, to full blown Linux at the decks. Uh, I, I already ordered by USB drives. I'm just waiting for uh, to get here. I'll be writing Kali Linux, um, Ubuntu, or I mean, you call it Ubuntu. I don't know why. I don't know the proper pronunciation. I just always call it Ubuntu just like Linux is Linux and some people call it Linux no no and so I'll be ready Ubuntu Kali Poly Open Susie and maybe Mint 
um, just because I want to get a little bit, a little taste of everything. You know what I mean? And you know, just from there, continue. But my main drivers will be Cali and Ubuntu. Uh, Ubuntu is just because I've been using Ubuntu for a while, or been practicing with Ubuntu for a while. And then um, Cali is just because that's for the ethical hacking. Um, but yeah, guys, I just wanted to make this video. Sorry, I was just like driving and excited at the same time. I'm gonna stop by and get my coffee before I get to work. Uh, we're doing training right now. Uh, I'll try to make a video uh, every other day or at least two videos a week. Uh, tell you guys how it's going, um, what exactly we're, I'll be doing there. I'm, again, I'm not gonna mention any company names or anything like that, guys, just because I don't wanna get in trouble. And hopefully, you know, this contract does it in early. It, hopefully, it gets extended. But hopefully, you know, I just don't hope it does it in early. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please remember to like, subscribe, and comment. Um, I'm really, really this, uh, you know, this month and starting next year, I will try to push this channel as much as I can. Uh, you know, I'm, um, I'm trying to do, you know, kind of like a network chuck. Uh, not exactly like his style of videos. Um, but you know, I'm just more of the process of like how my studying is going and stuff like that. Obviously, I don't have the knowledge that he does, uh, or of any of this, uh, of any of the tech YouTubers, like not tech, like you know, MKBHD, but like tech as in uh, software developers, you know, uh, networking, um, cybersecurity. I don't have the dollars that they do, but I do want to make this channel about my, my struggles, my my adventure on becoming, you know, um, a cybersecurity specialist or an ethical hacker. But yeah, guys, uh, thank you so much. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And yes, I will continue to make, uh, you know, software developer videos. Don't worry about that. Uh, this is just a, a new step in my career. Uh, I will continue making videos about a little bit of everything, like I mentioned before. I would be. I want this to be kind of like a full um, channel. Um, everything in the IT slash tech field. So don't worry about it. Uh, I will continue to make software developer videos. Um, but yeah, guys, see you guys at the next one.